Over the past year, I've really been pondering why baseball isn't even close to being as popular as its American sports counterparts in football and basketball. And while there are tons of reasons why, I want to focus on the lack of marketing of the sport's best players. You'd think a sport in which its players play pretty much every single day for six to seven months would promote its stars far more than they do. And hopefully, sooner rather than later, MLB actually tackles this issue. So without further ado, here is my list of the top 10 players that I feel MLB should market the most. Mike Trout is number one on my list of players that I feel MLB should market. To me, he's the Captain America of baseball. He does everything right. He's a fantastic ambassador for the game. And the cherry on top is that he's the best player in baseball. He's built like a freaking tank. And he's the player I could see most American kids and adults admiring all around the country. Even with all of that, I would say that there are two knocks against his number one placement. Number one is that he's on the Angels. And I don't mean the market. The market actually aids him more than not. I'm talking about him being on the team that's going nowhere fast. It's definitely a bad look for sure. I mean, he's as loyal as a golden retriever, and that's his downfall. Maybe Mike Trout shouldn't be number one on this list, but damn, it's tough for me to put him anywhere under number one. I mean, he's the Michael Jordan and Ken Griffey Jr. of this generation. There will never be another Mike Trout, and I guess that's my justification for his number one spot. His potential to popularize the sport of baseball is unlimited, and it's an absolute shame that Mike Trout isn't sponsored more and isn't one of the top three undisputed faces of baseball. Next up, I've got John Carlos Stanton, and he's a player that very easily could be the face of baseball. If Mike Trout is Captain America, then John Carlos Stanton is Iron Man, or maybe he's the Hulk. I don't know. What I do know is that he has every single tool needed to make baseball three to five times as big as it is now. Stanton, playing in New York, helps matters even more. He's got a fantastic physique, he hits bombs, he welcomes GQ magazine cover shoots, and he's an attractive guy to the ladies. At number three, I've got Mookie Betts. And I know people are wondering when that one certain polarizing outfielder will show up on this list. I have a good reason for that guy's placement, trust me. Now, going back to Mookie Betts, Mookie's probably one of the top underrated athletes of this generation, and it wouldn't take much for him to become one of the most recognizable names and faces in all of American sports. I'm not afraid to bring up the fact that Blacks have all but completely shied away from baseball, and Mookie Betts will be the perfect player to promote to Black kids and adults across America. He's not just a phenomenal player, but he's also a good human being as well. If you haven't heard about him feeding the homeless during the World Series, you should definitely Google it. Now that's a guy I would market to America. For most fans, Bryce Harper's number one or number two. And for a lot of reasons, I understand why he will be higher on other fans' lists. The reason why Bryce Harper isn't higher on my list is because Bryce doesn't need much of any help when it comes to marketing. And when I say that, I mean to say that he naturally draws attention to himself and has since he was a kid. Bryce Harper is probably the most well-known baseball player of this generation, and it's because he's already been hyped far more than anyone else on this list. Bryce isn't the flashiest, and he's not the best, but wherever he goes, people follow him. Media eats up anything Harper does, and he simply doesn't need much help in the marketing department. It's actually a compliment that he's number four on my list. Imagine if baseball actually decided to go all in on Bryce Harper. It would be insane. But yeah, although it would help baseball tenfold if he was marketed more as one of the faces of baseball, there are other guys on this list that I feel would benefit more from the exposure. Again, this ranking is actually more praise for Harper than it is a knock against him. In the number five spot, I've got Francisco Lindor. When I think of Francisco Lindor, I think of a giant smile. <laughs> Just pure happiness to simply be playing the game of baseball. Like Mike Trout, he does absolutely everything right, says the right things, and he's the best shortstop in baseball. He's a 5 tool player, and he's incredibly marketable. He doesn't take himself too seriously, and actually loves the limelight. If most kids knew about Francisco Lindor, they'd definitely look up to him. He's only 25 years old, and he's a naturally popular person. 
He celebrates home runs without showing pitchers up. His defense brings flavor to the sport, and he's a player you could build a team around. Coming in at number six, I've got Javi Baez. Baez is undoubtedly one of the most exciting players in baseball today, and he's a sponsor's dream. He's a lot like Lindor in that he has fun on the field, his defense gets the crowd out of their seats, and he's only getting better in all aspects of the game. Fans love spontaneity, and he's definitely a player where you don't know what he's going to do next. Like Lindor, he's oftentimes seen having a good time, and he could be an even bigger ambassador for the sport and bring in more of the Latin community. Like all the guys mentioned before him, Javi Baez is very young and brings a flair that only he could bring to the game of baseball. I give Cody Bellinger the number seven spot, and being a Dodger fan, I've seen how he's impacted the LA fan base since his call up. I'll go on record right now and say that he's a difference maker when it comes to attendance and fan experience. When fans see that Bellinger's in the lineup, they get excited because he's an exciting player. He dazzles defensively, whether it's in the outfield or at first. He's got that Arizona swagger to him. He's a good looking dude and he crushes balls more than anyone else on the team. He's definitely a player that MLB should market and one of the top players at that. Brizzo takes the number 8 spot on my list, and how could they not make this list? They were two of the main players that helped the Cubs win their first world championship in over 100 years. Both players bring out the best in one another, and when put together, whether it's in a lineup or in a commercial, they are very successful. Brizzo's entertaining as hell, and you simply can't go wrong with them. They're arguably the most beloved tandem in baseball today, which makes them even more special. I've ranked Aaron Judge at number 9. The more players you rank, the tougher it becomes to justify why they are so low. But I think anyone in the top 10 is of high ranking, so I digress. Aaron Judge being almost 7 feet tall and playing for the Yankees makes him someone extremely easy to market to sports fans all around the country. Like Stanton, he could be marketed highly as a player who could break home run records, and that will always be a popular marketing campaign. The judges' chambers have taken a life of its own, and it's little props like those that would only make Judge one of the biggest stars in all of sports. Judge welcomes the spotlight and doesn't shy away from being the center of attention. All signs point to Aaron Judge being a phenomenal player to market. And finally, at number 10, I have Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman brings a different type of flair than anyone else above him on this list. He's becoming a polarizing player because he's brash and talks a big game. He's been backing it up since being called up to the majors, so it's hard to knock him. It's fun to root for or against him, and that's what makes baseball fun as a fan. I'll talk about bringing in ethnic and cultural communities by marketing players that just so happen to be of that background, and Bregman's a great player to market towards the Jewish community. I'm all about bringing in everyone from every faith, culture, and race, so that would definitely be a cherry on top when it comes to marketing an exciting player like Alex Bregman. So yeah, this was my top 10 list of players that I feel MLB should market. Let me know your top 10 list in the comments below.